Hey, AD, Tyler Perry here. Want to take you on a tour of Tyler Perry Studios. So hop in. Come on, let's go for a ride. Tyler Perry Studios is 330 acres in the heart of Atlanta. This was all Fort McPherson Army Base. There was an 18-hole golf course here that rivaled uh, Augusta. It was absolutely beautiful. But uh, when the Army went away, so did all of the majesty of the, of the golf course. So we've just been developing it and building as we needed. Hold on, we're going to have to do the Flintstones to get up this hill. <laughs> she wouldn't let me take my other cart, the fast one. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can make it up the hill. And I think, okay, and I did. All right. So 12 sound stages. We're getting ready for our big grand opening celebration where we will be dedicating these sound stages to a lot of people who have inspired and encouraged me over the years. So, so you got Halle Berry here and Denzel Washington and Whoopi Goldberg and Oprah. Lots of things have been shot here. The Walking Dead, Black Panther shot here. First Man, Instant Family with Mark Wahlberg. Really excited to be given stewardship to make sure that the land is maintained, that the history is protected and, and always serviced and known for many people. This is Maxineville. It's our back lot where I shoot a few of my TV shows. Some of the fans of those shows will definitely recognize some of these houses, especially this neighborhood in particular from uh, If Loving You Is Wrong. So this area in Maxineville was dedicated to Madea. Madea, this is her house. This is Madea's house. Pretty famous character from a lot of my movies. So the original house is down the street in this neighborhood on Avon Avenue, but we wanted to have a place where visitors and fans of Medea can actually come and see it. You can walk in this house, it's like she's gonna come down the stairs with her big, huge self and say hi and feed you. It's all furnished and ready to go. Maxineville is, uh, I named it after my mother, Maxine, who passed in 2009. So this whole area, this whole neighborhood, I wanted to be a town named after her in her honor. And she was so happy to have that. It, it's very sentimental for me. And, and we do a lot of shooting down here for a lot of the shows. So it's always, it's always really uh, fun and powerful. And it's a good memory of her to be down here. She was very proud of it. I did this show where I needed a farmhouse that looked like it was 100 years old. So we built a farmhouse and set it among these oak trees to make it look like it was had been there forever. And uh, one day we're going to get there on this cart going up the hill. But this is our farmhouse. They're all practical inside. You can go in and shoot inside, even though it looks like it's very old. It's only built a few years ago. So let me show you a little bit more of Maxineville. So I built this house for one of my shows. It's a four-sided mansion that I built to combat some of the sets that we were building. I just thought, why not build a permanent structure that has four different sides to it um, that can be four different places all, all at once. So I'll show you what I mean. Here we have the Georgian side of the mansion for one of my lead characters. She and her family and everybody live here. But if you go, cut across the grass and really piss somebody off. And then you're here and it has a whole nother feel to it. And this was the president's home before he went to Washington DC in the have and have nots. And then there's this side, totally different. And then we have this side, which is very modern. Tried to make the best use of the space and the places and there you have it. Watch your knees, see if we can get through here. Legs in, arms in. Everybody in. That ain't good. That ain't good. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna show you the White House. Welcome to the White House. So, still a lot of cleaning being done here, but... I don't know how to turn the lights on. Let's go upstairs. This is the 80% replica of the actual White House in Washington, D.C. So we built this for my new show called The Oval on BET. And we're really proud of how it turned out. The residence of the White House, famous iconic window here. President's bedroom. Some hell has gone on in this room over the last episodes. 
Oh, we've done some everything in here. This is the daughter's room. This is the son's room. We built this about five, five and a half months ago. We started it. This is the only White House that's ever been built at a studio on a lot, and we are really excited about it. So I'm gonna show you more of the property. Come on, there's a lot more to see. Obama, my man. All of these houses were all built in the 1800s. They are extre extremely beautiful inside, every one of them. The one in the center is where I shot uh, two Medea movies. And um, that's also where President Roosevelt stayed and Colin Powell. These were all the places for the generals and the uh, officers to stay when they were on campus. There's a church here on the campus that's also built in the 1800s. Really beautiful inside. Not much has been touched. All of these buildings are on the National Historic Registry, so I take great pride in maintaining them at their original state. Okay. So, this is the Post Theater in The Walking Dead. This was the home of the kingdom where the tiger was on the stage. And come on, I'll show you. If the lights are on, I don't think the lights are on. And that's where the tiger was on the stage in the kingdom for the walking dead. The tiger was on the stage. I love, I love walking dead. I love walking dead. Oh, I got to show you something. This is Medea's car. She would say, this is my 1974 Cadillac, and I bought it in 74 and hadn't had maintenance on it since. But if you notice the luxury plastic on the seats, you see, if you, if you are architectural digest, this is what wrong people are architectural digest. They don't know how to put plastic on their furniture. They buy all that nice shit, spend all that money on all that nice shit, but they don't know how to put no plastic on their furniture. Put plastic on all your shit. Thank you. This is my Cadillac. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Because this car goes two miles an hour. I can run faster than this. Welcome to the Dream Building. The reason I named this building the Dream Building is because it was a dream come true for me. It's a dream come true for everybody who comes to work here. I wanted it to be inspirational for so many people. If they have a dream, I feel like their dream can come true. So that's why I just wanted to inspire you. So this is the Dream Building. Whereas I know it looks pretty like just an office building here, but there's a whole world just beyond these doors. If you want to be in a hotel hallway, like to say the Ritz Carlton or something, then all of a sudden you're in a hotel hallway. If you want to be in the presidential suite of one of those hotel rooms, you just right here, all on the third floor. Uh, magic. Magic. In the have and have nots, I have a character that lives in a brownstone. Well, this is her brownstone. So you just bring the cameras in and shoot. And then if you get sick and need to go to the hospital, turn this corner and you're in the hospital. We shot in this hallway of the hospital for acrimony. Look that way, show them that way, show them that way, show them that way. Now come back to me, look at me, look at me. I'm over here, look at me, yeah, okay. Then we go this way, more hospital, fake elevator. It's pretty cool, but it looks real, but it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't go to any other floor. Why it's super sexy loft in the have and have nots. I feel like I could live in this apartment. It's pretty cool. Working on a restaurant here. I haven't seen. Hello. Hello. Restaurant that's about to be uh, finished and converted. Looks, be, looks beautiful. It's coming along great. Here are two cool bars. This is our Irish pub that we shot lots of things in. This bar was actually in my house in the basement and I sold it to the studio when I moved because I thought it was so amazing. Such a great bar. And this is the iron bone bar from the haves and the have nots. And I love it because the way it's always lit, the way it feels. Really nice dive bar, a lot of bad things go on here, but it's, it's kind of cool, very authentic, very unique. The set decorators did a great job with it. Everything you've seen, everything I've shown you, I've actually drawn to scale, gave it to the, the uh, builders, the designers, saying this is what I want. So that's the way I've been very specific in the design and build of this building for my house, everything. It's just, I love architecture from the bottom of my heart. If I wasn't in this business, I would probably want to be a really great architect. Thank you, Architectural Digest. Thank you so much, AD. Thank you all the people who watched. I hope that this inspires you to know that you can dream it, you can do it, you can believe, you can build anything you want. God bless you. All right, now get out, get out. Thank you. It's been great seeing you. I appreciate it. 
time to go. Thank you.